Good morning. I see conditions again out there for some this morning. We've had a further covering of snow in places. Do hit subscribe if you haven't done already. If you're watching on YouTube, the Met Office warnings, of course, are on our app and our website. And there are flood warnings still in place also. Let's take a look at what's going on with the weather. As I said, we've had further snow through the night across northern Scotland and parts of Northern Ireland, Wales and southwest England. Still have wintry showers coming in here. Mix of rain, sleet and snow, whatever flavour of shower you have could turn things icy as temperatures are at or below freezing in many locations. So a cold day to come. The showers will tend to ease a little bit across South Wales, Southwest England, some continuing over North Wales into Northwest England, chiefly of rain at low levels and along the coast, but some snow possible over hills. That mixture of rain, sleet and snow showers for Northern Ireland, mostly snow in the showers across Northern Scotland where the wind continues to blow. For much of Southern, Southeastern Scotland, much of Eastern England, England, southern England, dry, fine and sunny through the day, but it is still going to be cold. The winds, though, are lighter for most places compared to yesterday, so perhaps not feeling quite as cold. Three or four degrees for most, maybe six, seven or eight across the uh, far south, but certainly feeling cold in that wind across northern Scotland, which continues to feed the wintry showers in here. So again, could well turn icy overnight. Some showers continuing in Northern Ireland. Again, a mix of sleet and snow likely here. So again, possibly icy. The showers should fade over North Wales and Northwest England. But wherever we've had showers through the day today, as those temperatures tumble, as we see another hard frost, it could be icy through Tuesday night and into tomorrow morning. Notice though, down to the south, clouds starting to increase a little bit. That is signs of a change. Temperatures though, widely minus two, minus three. Shelter glens of Scotland could get down to minus double digits. Down to the southwest though, things are starting to change. And this is something we need to keep a, a close eye on. Low pressure out in the Atlantic, throwing these weather fronts northwards and bringing the milder air, but also bringing the moisture. And as the moisture hits the cold air, we are going to see some snowfall. The big question mark, just how far north these weather fronts get. Far from certain at this stage, but it could start to move into southern parts of England. That is why we have a snow warning in place for Wednesday. But it isn't a guarantee. Far from it. This whole set of weather fronts could be a bit further north, it could be further south, in which case we'd hardly see any snow across the south. So it isn't a guarantee, it's just something we're keeping an eye on. This is for tomorrow, as we see this wet weather shifting northwards. Probably along the coast it'll be rain, but it won't have to come too far inland before we start to see some snow on Wednesday. But as I said, uncertainty about how far north this weather system gets. So keep up to date with the forecast. For the majority, Wednesday's a dry, fine and uh, day of winter sunshine. But with lighter winds, temperatures are still going to struggle. Three, four degrees, maybe a little higher in the south. It depends if those weather systems do bring that milder air. But cold and bright for most places, still some wintry showers across the north. Do keep up to date if you live in the south because, as I say, there could be some snow on Wednesday, but uh, quite a bit of uncertainty at this stage. So do stay up to date with the forecast. Best way to do that if you're watching on YouTube is to hit subscribe.